With the development of urbanization, the city has undergone rapid changes. But at the same time, we have also lost many things that can never be recalled a historical context. Some meaningful urban historical scenes were destroyed, and the city lost its recognition and vitality. The High Line was built in the 1930s as a 30-foot high rail freight line. High Line retired in 1980 and faced the danger of demolition. Under the vigorous protection of the New York FHA organization, the High Line finally survived, and a unique Sky Garden corridor was built, which has won huge social and economic benefits for New York. From 1851 to 1929, there were frequent accidents between moving freight trains and traffic vehicles on the street, and the 10th Avenue became a well-known avenue of death. In order to ensure traffic safety, there would be Western cowboys waving red flag on horseback in front of the train. In 1929, after years of security debate, New York City and New York Central Railroad reached an agreement to carry out the West Side Railroad Improvement Project. The entire project was 30 miles long, alimented 105 railroad crossings and built a 32-acre real side park. At that time, it cost more than 150 million US dollars, which is equivalent to more than 2 billion US dollars today. In the 1950s, as the demand for interstate transportation increased, the volume of rail transit and high-speed rail transportation in the state declined. In the 1960s, the southernmost Highline Railway was demolished. The Friends of Highline Organization raised public support for the park and in 2002 submitted a request to the Ground Transportation Commission to create a public trail on the site persuading Mayor Michael Bloomberg's government to support the project. Time came to 2009, when the fourth section of the High Line was officially completed. The fourth section has an industrial background, and more importantly, the urban memory of the elevated railway. In 2011, two years later, the second phase of the High Line has also being completed. In the third phase of 2014, new benches, railroad tracks, performance space, and children's playgrounds were built. This development plan revitalized the real estate industry near the park, attracting millions of tourists every year. According to the estimates of the front of the headline, the park will increase the city's tax revenue by 250 million within 20 years due to the increase in real estate value. The Highlands stimulate Chelsea multi billion dollar economic development activities. In the first set, real estate transaction to date, Manhattan developer Fieldman acquired a 76,425 square foot plot near the park for as much as 800 million in 2014. A few days later, Fidman announced plans to build an 800,000 square foot mixed use tower. The price of luxury apartment space can reach 6,000 per square foot which is almost three times the price of the area. After the second part was opened in 2011, the rezoning allowed the development of 
15 new residential buildings and the addition of 2,000 new units, which increased the housing stock of the existing 4,000 houses in West Chelsea by 50%. The area around the park is dotted with small offices under 200,000 square feet, which has become an attraction for startups and creativity companies. Urban planners realize that today's cities may need more parks, and they see the success of the Evaluate Line as an opportunity for them to transform the old space, help improve the community, and attract development. In the 10 years since the opening of the Highline Park in 2009, through good management, the improvement in the quality of surrounding communities, the increase in regional land prices and the economic benefits brought about by business prosperity all show that the decision to return and rebuild is quite compared to demolition. Between 2011 and 2014, the median resale value of real estate along Section 1 increased by 32%, reaching 1,800,000. The median resale price of the second part of the real estate increased by 24% to $1 million. Since June 2011, as of May 2016, the resale price of real estate along the fourth part of the Highland has increased by 50% and the resale price of real estate along the second part has increased by 48%. During the same period, prices in the comparative area rose by 31%. Every day, not only many tourists from all over the world come to the Highland Park to throw around, but also many New Yorkers come here to relax the Highline has become one of New York's most popular cultural attractions almost overnight, attracting about 5 million people in 2014. The Highline Park has made outstanding contributions to the revitalization of Manhattan's west side. It is a local symbol stimulated pride investment won huge social and economic benefits for New York and has become a model of international design and reconstruction of old buildings. There is no doubt that the Highland Park occupies a crucial position in the urban landscape of the city and in the itinerary of New York City visitors. Look at the tourist groups there on weekend afternoons. The design of linear park roads around the city has surged, and there are many cranes and construction sites on both sides of the park. You can see the social and economic impact of the Highland Park on people in this city. The completion of the Highland proves that the investment of public funds in public space can stimulate economic development and become a model of design. New York Mayor Bloomberg said, we did not choose to destroy valuable historical sites, but to transform it into a creative and breathtaking park, which not only provides citizens with more outdoor leisure space, but also creates employment opportunity and economic benefits.